free to use by schools and teaching institutions. This video can be freely used by any school or institute for teaching purposes. We only ask that you recommend us to the pupils' parents and other schools. We believe that education should be freely available to all. Thank you. Area of a square A square is a four-sided shape, with all sides having the same length, see figure 1. All angles in a square are always right angle. The area of a square is that region which is enclosed, bonded, by these four sides, shown in brown. The area of any shape is always distance multiplied by distance equals distance squared. Therefore area of a square equals distance multiplied by distance. Example 1. Find the area of a square with sides 5 cm. Solution. We know square has all sides the same length in this case 5 cm, then area equals 5 cm multiplied by 5 cm equals 25 cm squared. Half of the area of a square. If you cut the square into two equal halves by drawing a vertical line, as shown in figure 2, then you also half the area, which can be calculated as follows. Area of brown part equals whole area divided by 2. Area of lime part equals whole area divided by 2. So, the area of half of a square is basically half of the area of the square. Figure 3 shows you another way of halving the square. If you draw a line from one corner to the opposite corner, diagonal, you have effectively halved the square. The same formula, we just looked at will also give you the area for this situation. Area of brown part equals whole area divided by 2. Area of lime part equals whole area divided by 2. So, the area of half of a square is basically half of the area of the square. Example 2. I have a square wall of length 5 meters. Half of the wall, I wish to paint red and the other half blue. The paint I am using covers 10 square meters for every 1 liter. Part A. Find the area of each section. Part B. How much paint do I need for each wall section? Part C. If paint is sold in 0.5 liters tins, how many tins do I need for each color? Solution Part A. Total area of wall equals 5 multiplied by 5 equals 25 meters square. Therefore, area for red section equals 25 divided by 2 equals 12.5 meters square. Therefore, area for blue section equals 25 divided by 2 equals 12.5 meters square. Solution Part B. It is stated that 1 liter covers 10 meters square. Therefore, paint needed for red section equals 12.5 divided by 10 equals 1.25 liters. Therefore, paint needed for blue section equals 12.5 divided by 10 equals 1.25 liters. Solution Part C Tins required to do the red section equals 3, because 3 multiplied by 0.5 equals 1.5 liters. Tins required to do the blue section is also equals 3, 
because 3 multiplied by 0.5 equals 1.5 liters. Example 3. Figure 4 shows you a cross section of a hollow square tube. Given that the outer square has sides of 20 cm and the inner square has sides of 10 cm, calculate the brown area. This problem is not as difficult as it initially appears. Always look at the problem and see how you are going to approach it first before writing anything down. There are two squares, a big one and a small one. The small square is inside of the big one. All we have to do is work out the two areas and subtract the small area from the big one. Area of the big square equals 20 square equals 400 centimeters square. Area of the small square equals 10 square equals 100 centimeters square. The brown area equals small area subtracted from big area equals 400 minus 100 equals 300 centimeters square. Example 4. Figure 5 shows you a grass lawn in a park. Each side of the lawn is 4.5 meter. Calculate the grass area. Solution. Again, this problem is not as difficult as it initially appears. Always look at the problem and see how you are going to approach it. You can see 5 equal sized squares. You will see them better once we put a border around one of them as shown in figure 6. From this drawing, you can see all the squares. All squares have the same size sides, so all we need to do is find the area of one square, and then multiply it with 5 to give us the lawn area. Area of 1 square equals 4.5 meters squared, which equals to 4.5 multiplied by 4.5 equals 20.25 meters squared. Therefore, area of 5 square is equals 520.25 equals 101.25 meters squared. The answer is 101.25 meters squared. This exercise will test your understanding of the mathematic topic just covered. You will find the answers at the end of this video. In this exercise, there are 17 questions. You will have 20 seconds for the first 12 questions and 30 seconds for the remaining 5 questions. If you need more time, just pause the video. You can ask your parent or teacher to help you. Answer for this exercise can be found, either, at end of this lesson or on our website. Exercise 1 Calculate the area of the following square whose one side is given below. Calculate the area of the following square whose one side is given below. Calculate the area of the following square whose one side is given below.
Calculate the area of the following square whose one side is given below. Calculate the area of the following square whose one side is given below. Calculate the area of the following square whose one side is given below. Calculate the area of the following square whose one side is given below. Calculate the area of the following square whose one side is given below. Calculate the area of the following square whose one side is given below. Calculate the area of the following square whose one side is given below. Calculate the area of the following square whose one side is given below. Calculate the area of the following square whose one side is given below. Read the question and answer it. Read the question and answer it. Read the question and answer it.
Read the question and answer it. Read the question and answer it. We hope you have learned something from this video. Please tell at least 5 people about our work, so they can also benefit. Do visit our website, to see hundreds of free educational videos. Answers for the previous exercise are coming next. This is the end of this lesson. Thank you for watching this video. We regularly bring out new videos, so don't miss out. Please subscribe to get these educational videos.